What if I start gaining weight? What if I start losing muscle mass? What if my bones start getting fragile? What if I start getting tired all the time? If I start getting like breast tissue? What if my metabolism goes? What if I start getting insomnia? What if I fall into the What if my sex drive tank? What go on? What's popping? What's good? Welcome back to another video. So TRT seems to be the latest fitness craze. And I'm almost 37, turn 37 next month. I can't help but think, is my test declining? Gains are a bit harder to get, so do they need boosting? So I guess I'm gonna be testing my test. In my now the reason I think TRT is growing in the fitness industry is because I guess it's a more accepted way of taking performance enhancing drugs because it's medically prescribed as opposed to steroids which are illegal. But before we go any further, what the hell is TRT and who would typically take it? TRT is an acronym for testosterone replacement therapy. Sometimes it's called androgen replacement therapy. It's mainly used to treat low testosterone levels, which can be because of your age, but can also be because of a mental condition. As you get older, your testicles produce less testosterone. And lower testicularity also means less release of the hormone GnRH. Lower GnRH causes the pituitary gland to make less LH, the luteinizing hormone. And a reduction in this means lowered overall testosterone production. But all of this happens slowly, kind of like a frog in a frying pan. So you don't really notice it over time. But there will be times that there will be a drastic drop. And that drastic drop can cause a number of things, including lower sex drive, bad sleep, erectile dysfunction. And these drastic drops can come from a number of things. If we look at pituitary disorders, these can be caused by kidney failure, small tumors, drugs, etc. Hemochromatosis, which is basically too much iron in the blood, and that can cause testicular failure. Some medications along with steroids can also affect the pituitary gland and the production of the testosterone. Boring. So I got this kit online. I'm gonna be doing <laughs> we've got a few of these needle thingies, this little thing to capture the blood. And then obviously a way to transport it, the sample kit, and then a bag to send it in. Cool. All right, let's start jabbing some fingers. Nah. Wait. Gross. So three pin pricks later, three sore fingers, we got the sample. So it says, turn it upside down. 10 times to preserve the sample, so. I'm sharing my testosterone level results. Really towards the lower end of normal, if you like. As you can see, it's within the normal range. 556, I, I, was, I was shocked. I thought it was gonna be so much lower than that. So, got my testosterone results through. Let's take a look, shall we? Take a look, see. So, my result came in at 15.9 nanomoles per liter, which a lot of people, um, they get theirs done in nanograms per deciliter, so that's the conversion there. 458. So, the normal range is between 7.8 and 31, so it's not too bad. So there's multiple things that can affect your testosterone results. I didn't remember them, let me read them. Being overweight, inactivity, pain medications, steroid use, hair loss medications, and insufficient sleep are all factors that could be causing decreased testosterone in your body. Out of that list, two of the things, insufficient sleep and uh, pain medication. So I'm gonna go into the whole pain medication thing a whole different time, because it, it's, it's been an ongoing thing that if you've been watching me for a while, I did end up in hospital because of it. So yeah, if you wanna link the chains and wait for the full story, then yeah, that, that that's what it was down to and my sleep has been trash. I've been burning the candle at both ends, two kids and trying to build everything has been tough. But anyway, so those are two of the factors which I think have probably that probably affected my testosterone result. But yeah, it's still within the average range. So I'd be very interested to see if I correct those things plus a couple other things, what effect it has on my testosterone result. Because what I think people don't realize 
is the commitment to TRT. At the end of the day, it is a performance enhancing drug, but it's used for a specific reason. So if my result came in at like five or something like that, I'd be like, whoa. And say there's so many other factors. So say like sex drive is bad, which is not by the way. <laughs> Or you know, like I'm losing weight like crazy or whatever, or different things impacting me that aren't based on physique, then maybe. But it's a lifetime commitment. It's not a small thing that you just be like, oh, just double in this and then, nah. There's one kid whose um, testosterone had tanked. I was watching more plates, more dates. His testosterone was like 21 nanograms per deciliter or something like that. I was like, 21. That's a madness. And for me, when I saw that, I was like, right, you must have done Psalms or something or have taken something that you didn't know too much about. And everyone said it was safe because that's the thing that people said about Psalms is that, like, oh, it's cool, it's like a legal steroid. No, it's not. It's still messing with your structure. So you probably need to have some kind of post cycle, whatever, after that to get back to normal. And he must have effed that and, right, put. 21. So in conclusion, the way that I'm thinking is there's people with high testosterone and like not an amazing physique and then people with low testosterone with a better physique. There's so many factors that play on your testosterone and I think you're, am I right in saying you're free testosterone or free and the amount that's available that helps you like build muscle or whatever. My approach is try and take the holistic approach as much as possible. Assess your life and see whether there's stuff that you can actually change within your lifestyle to make your um, testosterone better rather than just shooting straight for um, TRT. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. And if it is gonna be TRT, then it has to be one hell of a reason. I'm not jabbing needles in my bum for no one. I'm, I'm allowed that for now. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Any of you guys who are thinking about it, think hard. Think, think very hard. Lifetime, li lifetime commitment. Life. Think about life in jail. Life. <laughs> life. <laughs> I'm out of this. <laughs>